Ladies and gentlemen, allow me, well, I guess it's mostly gentlemen. I was looking at my analytics and like two females watched this. So what's up guys? <laughs> this arm right here is our support that holds the lumber. Then we got this that comes down. We got a 90 degree elbow. We got a nipple, this nipple up here. And then these will actually be threaded onto these flanges like that. And those will be screwed straight into the stud. So we'll get a pretty good bite into that stud. So I thought about this, you know, just doing away with this bottom piece where this goes straight into the wall and forget all that other contraption. But since we're only gonna hit two fasteners in the stud and I don't know how much weight I'm gonna be putting up there, I'm no engine nerd or anything like that, but I think having that splitter and kind of distributing some of that weight down might help. <laughs> or is this just decorative and that's not doing anything? I don't know, we're gonna go with this. Let me see, I think that'll work. Give him a spin. The question is, how far do I go? I don't think I need to go on the, all the threads, you know? Just snug it up and I think that'll be good. This stuff is oily. Okay, that one's good. Now this one definitely needs to be facing uh, in line with that top one. Let me see if I can give it another spin and get it all the way around. But here we go. Don't punch yourself in the face. <laughs> it started slipping out. It's almost there. You're almost there. Oh wait, I could just turn this one a little bit more. That one's kind of maxed out. So what I can do then, I can turn, this one has a lot of turn left in it. So look, that one's on there. So then if I turn that one, that's pretty good. What's a good idea to check like that, right? If they're both flat, which they're pretty close. Dang, I think that might be it right there. So last thing we need to do is get our flanges on here. And how is that gonna work? So I'll just thread that one on there. That one actually goes bottomed out just with my hand. So I think that one we're good. I don't have to put any wrench on here and grind up these threads. So then we'll just thread these on. And these are gonna be important because these are gonna need to be the same offset so they can hit the wall at the same projection. Looks pretty cool actually. Let me see if I can tighten these up a little bit. All right, it's going, it's going. All right, now we gotta make sure that as we look at this thing, I've got a screw there and there. So this one actually looks pretty good. The bottom one needs to rotate in one of the other directions. This is gonna be a heavy duty one inch pipe shelf. We're gonna spray this with a, um, you know the stuff you spray like in your do it yourself kind of bed liners? Like my bed has the uh, kind of that textured surface in it. It's called Linex or whatever. Uh, we're gonna spray these with that. So it's kind of like a grip for the lumber to kind of set up there. So yeah, it, it's actually looking pretty cool, especially when it's Linexed or whatever. It's gonna be awesome. So let me get those lined up and uh, this one should be done. <laughs> you know when you have like a really good idea and then you realize what's wrong with it? We just had that happen to us. So as I was like lining these up, trying to get them all perfect, it crossed my mind that how am I gonna get the bolt in there? Where's the bolt? Yeah, this bolt. There's no way to get that in there. 
So we kind of thought about just putting these on first and then attaching everything, but that wouldn't really work either because the way you have to assemble it, I don't think that would work. You could definitely get this piece on <laughs> and this piece, but you're not getting all this extra support on. I think what we're gonna do is just one there and one at the bottom. And I honestly think that would be strong enough to hold it. So we're gonna keep assembling these things and then hopefully we'll have them sprayed soon too. But yeah, hopefully that holds, we'll see. And overall, I'd say this is a pretty cheap deal. Um, minus the, like the tools and stuff I had to buy. These pieces weren't really that much. These little fittings were like a couple bucks each. Um, and that's pretty much it. Almost good. A little more tweaking on it. And then you can see it's not flat really right there. You can see that this side's flat. So that's good. And this side's up off the table. So I can just bring it down a little bit. There we go, perfectly flat. These things almost ready for paint. I'm getting the hang of it now. I could be a pipe fitter. All right, so we're only, <laughs> we're only gonna be able to do two of these right now because some doofus at the orange store, now it's probably a customer, <laughs> they put, this is a one inch, one inch, and then it goes to three quarter. So, not gonna work. Okay, so I need another one inch, three, three way T. All right, we'll do two for now. That's fine. This, those things are easy to throw together. I can get that fitting. Just hoping to get my lumber up today now. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Has a lot of texture in it. All right, we're gonna give this a shot real quick. These little green caps, those came with the pipes from the store. We wanted to get the little uh, caps that kind of cap off the line. You, tw you twist them on with the threads, but they didn't have any more. So we're just gonna use these for now. And then when they get more in stock, I'll probably just spray some with this and thread them on there. So here we go. So I've got our laser up there right now and it's it's level, it's kind of bouncy because there's like gust of wind today blowing through here, blowing all these, these leaves and stuff in. But um, this right here, I think this is gonna be good. So if I line up, let's see, this was my location. If I line up the top of my flange right there, I think that's good. I think we've got easy access. You know, I'm six foot tall, so that's about six foot. And then, you know, we got to think about this. You know, I don't think we're going to stack boards up that high, but if we go any higher, it's going to get weird. So if we have them like this, we can just pull them off and go straight to the truck. So I'm actually going to say right here, I'm just going to line up the top of my flange right there with it. And then I can see, I'm going to get my level two and make a straight line right there. And then when we put our bracket here, we're going to clear, we'll clear the tool chest. That's awesome. Get inside the, the, the plumb line. Just line it up with the top. Get inside our plumb line. You can see, if you look in there, you can see our plumb line there. And all I'm going to do is just cross it right in the middle.
All right, guys. There we have our level lumber rack. And now we got to do the real test. It's the real test. You ready? Yep. What do you mean I can still do it? What am I? Chopped liver? <laughs> yeah, I can. I could probably. I thought you just No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, I gotta put a board up here. We gotta see how this looks. So first up, a one by 12 Windsor one. Let's see how we did. I cannot wait to get that middle one in. Yeah, I think that middle one, perfect. Cause you can see it, it's kind of sagging right here, but if it was stout. All right guys, next day over here. And I had some time to sleep on this and think about it do a little bit more research and I think we've come up with the solution for now and I think it's gonna be pretty cool check this out boom all right so what we got here we've got our middle rack now made one thing you'll notice I flipped these upside down from what you saw yesterday the reason I did that is because this bar up here this section I felt like it was going to get in the way of what's stacked on these down here. Now these, I just went with the simple, you know, pipe with a flange coming straight out of the wall, not with that support piece that I made yesterday. The reason I did that is because number one, they didn't have those elbows in stock so I could make those pieces with the support. And number two, I'm just going to do an experiment and see if these things hold up just as good as those supports. But I will tell you this, after pulling on these things a little bit and then pulling on these that have the extra support, definitely recommend having this extra support up here. I thought it was kind of a goofy idea at first, like it wasn't really gonna do much, but just feeling it, like these and these, this feels more stout than just the single uh, pipe coming out. So a couple other things I did, let's take a look. All right, so a couple things I did different from yesterday's build was I switched out these bolts right here. These used to be zinc and I changed them to stainless steel. So doing some research, I found out zinc was actually brittle and soft and not as strong as stainless steel. And so I switched them out and I feel much better about that. One other thing you'll notice, I was able to get a bolt up in there. It's only an inch and a half bolt. So it gets a little bite on the stud, but I feel more confident in that as well. So I've got them on these bottom ones and I just need to finish putting them up there. So I've got that one by eight Windsor up there right now. And this thing, it just looks so cool holding up these boards. I'm gonna stack them up here in a second and see how many I can stack. I got quite a bit here that <laughs> they can go up there. Uh, we got a job coming up, we're gonna be using these. So. I'm gonna load it up, see what this thing's made out of. So I, like I said, I think these are stronger than just these. I don't feel as confident in, and I think I'll probably eventually turn these into some just like that. So just looking at these right here, the height I chose was specifically so I could still slide a workbench under here or some kind of um, tool or whatever and have space under there. You can see it's a little bit taller than that Milwaukee tool chest. That was kind of the idea there. And then I thought about how much room is between each of these. And it, it came out to be about two and a half feet uh, but from this bar to that bar. I don't know how well I feel about these, but we're gonna see how they'll work for now. They may be fine. So these are all stainless uh, on all that. And I sprayed them with the uh, truck bed liner as well. And I actually, I didn't go and spray all these little heads with the truck bed liner like I did on that first one. Um, since I switched them out, I just skipped that step and I actually like the contrast look of it. So anyways, that's enough rambling. Let's, uh, let's load this thing up. I don't know, it feels pretty strong. Especially when they're all, they're all working together. One thing I considered on this one was these are 18 inches and they have them at the store in like 18 and 24 and just different increments. I thought about making this bottom one 24, but I'm gonna see how it goes. 
with the 18. And I think that's what's really cool about doing it this way. If I don't like something, I can really just unscrew this and screw a longer one on. It's all modular, it's pretty cool. So one thing I'm thinking about right now as I'm loading this up, I'm really glad I didn't go any higher than six with this bar because I'm six foot tall. I can still easily reach up in this space and I feel like if I would have went taller, I would have had to need like a ladder or a stool or something to get up there. And if I can avoid that, I mean, that's always a plus, one less thing to think about. So this height I feel like is really good and uh, I think it's just worked out perfect. Now the big boys, the one by 12s. So using these 18 inch pipes, it's perfect for one by 12s. You get plenty of room up there. Uh, I thought about going with like a 12 inch pipe just to have like less sticking out of the wall, but uh, I think the 18 inch is probably the minimum for this. That's quite a bit of weight up there. So I've got these two by sixes for a framing of a coffered ceiling we've got coming up. I'm just gonna throw these up on there too. These aren't really aren't that heavy, but get them out of the way for now. All right, that's pretty much the lumber that I have right now and it's holding it up. So I think we're good. If I ever hear a loud bang like late at night or even while I'm working in here, I'll probably know what happened. Everything came crashing down. But I honestly think we'll be good. All right guys, so there you have it. There's the lumber rack for the shop. Shop is coming right along. We're starting to get organized. Before you know it, we'll be making some sawdust in here and that's gonna be an exciting time. So overall, I'm happy with this thing. I'm happy with the look of it, the functionality. It can hold a lot of weight. I think if anything, what I might do, you know, safety is really important. I joke around a lot on this channel. You guys know that, but safety is really important. The last thing I want is for this to fall and hurt someone. I would feel horrible about that. Or if I got hurt by this, I would feel pretty dumb about that. So what I can do and what I'm thinking I probably will do, I'll probably put another bracket right here in the middle of these two and then one right here in the middle of these two because the more um, distribution you can give, the more support you can have, the better off it's gonna be. You know, like if a single bar was holding up all of this, it's gonna just tear those lags out of the stud. So the more you can distribute it and kind of make everything work as a team, I think will be better. So I'll probably do the same thing down here as well with these, and I'm gonna see how these hold up. This is kind of an experiment. I'm gonna let these single flange ones down here kind of carry a load for a while, then I'll wiggle them around, see if they got loose. And if I need to, I'll add the extending support that all of these have. Anyways, this is one more step in the right direction in making this little small two-car garage into a legitimate workshop. So I'm excited to share this process with you. Can't wait to make some sawdust in here. And until next time, guys, I will catch you on the next video. Take care.